Hi there, I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, where we cover real estate, design, and all things Austin. Today, I am taking you on a very special property tour of 900 Garden Villa Court. Come on in. What makes this home so special is that the builder was actually building it for himself, and it's inspired by an Asian art museum. This gorgeous home was designed around a central courtyard and pool. The emphasis on the indoor-outdoor living space is highlighted with the use of oversized sliding doors that allow poolside view from almost every room. Incredible tile selections and custom walnut wood details give the spaces an airy and earthy feel. 900 Garden Villa Court was originally built for the owners, as I mentioned, uniquely made to appreciate the beauties of nature from the comfort of the living room. These are just a couple of the reasons that this home stands out from the pack. I love the contrast of the earthy elements, like the light fixtures in here, meets the kind of modern minimalism. And the details on the material selections, so you'll find that this walnut kind of shows up throughout the house. Right off of the kitchen, you have the master, which looks out into the courtyard. And what you have to know is that we're just days away from finishing this house. So you'll see some like paint touch up spots and that's what all those green stickers are. These sinks being bamboo and the counter selection, wow. And then look at this shower. Not only do we have these massive dual shower heads, we have this tile that looks so earthy and kind of that Japanese inspired look to it. Another great feature is these closets that are walnut matching that kitchen. They are so well organized. There's just windows galore and light pouring in through every direction. Let's head on upstairs to see the other bedrooms. Look at this amazing walnut feature wall here. Just adds the separation to the space and it's really like an art piece. So we have three bedrooms up here. We have the one bedroom, lots of big light windows, and the second bedroom over here with some nice healthy sized closets. And it's such a smart use of space because you have this outdoor deck area that overlooks the pool and the second unit that's on the property. So these two bedrooms share this bathroom that also has a laundry room and he kind of flip the floor from being the white stone floor to being black in this bathroom. So this bedroom is like a second master bedroom, another beautifully executed bathroom with the black tile, and I'm just crazy about this fan. So this bedroom has its own balcony, but if you look over to the right, you can see that the other balcony exists over there. And then of course we have the secondary unit above the garage, which we'll go take a peek at in just a moment. So downstairs we have the pool courtyard and they're finishing up some work on the side over here, but this will be full of bamboo. Perfect timing. So let's go check out the second unit. Even the studio apartment was masterfully executed with the high ceiling, tons of light with all the windows, beautiful wood floors, oversized closet, and the selection again on the finishes is just stunning. I thought that this house was so special and thoughtfully done that we should meet the builder. So let's go talk to Nicholas. You have been amazing to work with and I just want to say that publicly. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> it's my pleasure. I think, you know, we have a similar goal. So right. when we have the same goal, I, it's easy to get on the same page, I think. Totally, so thank you for your graciousness. I wanted to talk about your inspiration for this house because I've already mentioned that it was going to be your house. Yes. So there was a lot of love put into this house. If you've been to this channel before, what I believe in is something called intentional design. Mm -hmm. So it's where you kind of weave your goals and your dreams into your space. Mm -hmm. So an example of that could be like in my own house, I use this example all the time, we would like to have a waterfront property, so we have like lots of ocean scenes around the house to keep us remembering where we're going on a daily basis. Okay. But it can also be just when a space makes you feel happy. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of that in here. So mm -hmm. tell us how you made that happen. I'd be remiss if I didn't say that it takes a team. We definitely have a, an incredible team that kind of helped pull this all together. 
the, the intentionality that went into the space was we really built this home, not only for ourselves, but also as a business. We were going to run this as a short-term Airbnb. Mm. There's not a lot of super high-end short-term rentals in Austin, and I really, really wanted to do that at a really high level. Uh, and it's something I still want to do in the future. Mm. So we, there was a lot of intentionality that went into how we were personally going to live here and also for it to be successful in that space. Saying all of that, the design that we wanted to kind of emulate was like an Asian art museum. Mm. I wanted really clean lines, simple spaces, lots of natural elements, big open windows, bamboo. That was all really part of what I, what I really envisioned this looking like in the end. And I think we did a pretty good job. You did an amazing job. Like, find, where did you even find some of these materials? Like the tile in the master shower mm -hmm. and the kitchen. I mean, just beautiful. So the, all of the tile actually came from the tile shop, which okay. is an Austin yes. uh, company. And it was awesome, except for the floors. They're not really super elevated. We wanted the floors to be kind of sedated and kind of blend in. I and kind love of the like floor concrete. choice, yeah. So they're a little more sedate and came from uh, floor and decor, but mm -hmm. the, everything else came from the tile shop. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean the actual vendors, but I love it because the tile shop is local to Austin. Yeah. So um, what is next for you? Oh my gosh, um, there's <laughs> so much. It's actually like mind crushing to think about what we're working on because yeah. it's it's, we're busy. I've got a property runner contract right now closing in just about a week and it's 0.85 acres and we're going to build 24 condos. Wow. And it's going to be 50% of the units are going to be affordable housing and 50% are going to be market rate. Our, our kind of goal going forward is every, every market rate house that we sell, we do one that's also affordable. Amazing. Because Austin's getting untenable really quickly. Mm -hmm. So we're working on that. I'm also getting ready to break ground and come out of the ground on a project on the east side. We're going to do an AB build. It's also something that I'm building for myself. Okay. We'll see. How we'll that see. Goes. <laughs> we'll see how that well, goes. Well, keep me posted if that changes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then um, besides that, I've got a couple of renovation projects going for clients and, and hoping to expand our business there too. Incredible. Well, you should be very proud of yourself. And how do people find you? Yeah, so we're on social. It's Taiki Property Group. Um, Taiki Acquisitions Group also. How do you spell a, that? Taiki. So Taiki is the Greek goddess of kind of like the city and, and the home. And that's T-Y-C-H-E. So TaikiPropertyGroup.com. Um, we're on social and Taiki Property Group. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting us tour your amazing home and for being such an awesome realtor. My Appreciate pleasure. It. Yeah. My pleasure. It was a pleasure <laughs> to work with you as well. Same. So leave a comment below. What was your favorite part of this house? Well, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe below because we have videos coming out every single week. We'll see you soon. Bye.